Welcome back to Retro Wednesday at the Type Year. This is Mike. Today I want to talk to you about Hasbro's Vortech. And they made this back in the 90s. And this is one of those toy lines that, well, it seems to be a wannabe reboot of Mask. And showing what Hasbro would do if they got Mask, if you can see what's going on here. But this is my second take on this video. I actually made an entire collection video back in 2019 but this is now an updated format with all of the parts and pieces and it's a full collection so with that we're gonna get into taking a look at each one of these we're gonna look at which ones of these copied original kinner mask and we'll talk about this entire full collection on retro wednesday coming up <laughs> I just say that the TV show did feel a whole lot like just a standard 90s cartoon that was going on. It really was 90s trendy type of cartoon. It was good versus evil, but did not feel like Mask, so it was not trying to exactly copy Mask. The toys sort of were, but the cartoon was not in any way, shape, or form. But I guess it was okay to watch. There's only a few episodes out there to even watch, to even sample of this show. It, it, it's okay. It's average for the 90s we're going to start out with the flagship of this toy line and it is the sonic stinger which is it's interesting i don't even think this is the leader of this anyway there's the box it has kind of an opening panel to the box here you can see the inside of that flap and then that's how it's strapped in there for a new sealed in the package one the missile the helmet the figure and all of that and then uh, on the back of it it's like every one of them, you can see the whole entire toy line. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven vehicles, seven figures. It was very short-lived. And at KB, the bigger ones, these two were $12.99. And then they were either, the rest were either $5.99 or $6.99. I couldn't remember. I almost, I considered buying the whole line because it's so cheap at the time. But I was like, nah, I'll put all my money into real mass stuff. All right, so get into the vehicle. It was missing the roll bar on that other one. Anyway, this is pretty cool vehicle. It is, like I said, the flagship vehicle of the toy line. It seems like this is what everyone thinks of when they think of Vortec for whatever reason, but it's kind of like a little roadster. It's kind of cool. I want to say it's like a partially based on a Shelby Cobra, but I might be wrong on that. It just, it looks cool. It's got a steering wheel in there, some driving controls and stuff. And then you can convert it like this. This pulls out. You see it in the show. And then this pulls the wings out. This pops this out. Firing missile. Fold in the wheels to show those guns. Guns, guns, guns. And yeah, that's kind of cool. It's like a little ship. Now, the, the thing is that you push the button here to fire... Don't want to lose that. That was actually hard for me to track one of those down. It's actually hard to track a hood down at first for a while, for the longest time there. Hard to get a wood. I like the chrome on the rims. That's what it looks like on the bottom there. But let's compare it to the flagship of Kidder Mask. I think that they felt like they had to have a red flying car. This is actually the uh, kind of the pink variation of, of Thunderhawk. It's the one I grabbed. But it is kind of interesting when you look at it and you see that they're similar but yeah this is although it's an older model of a car it is kind of a sleeker look to it than what we got with thunderhawk but i mean really thunderhawk is awesome now for the driver who is rick rhodes this is what he looks like there's his he's got glasses and here's his weird helmet that when it goes on it's kind of strange now the weird thing about this figure is these figures do not have any knee articulation, so they have less articulation than what we got with the original mask line, and about the same size, so they would fit in there. And you can see, real quick, let's just test out old... I got Dusty's real easy to get to, and of course he'll fit in there. But lack of knee articulation, seems like they dumped it down just a little bit. So next up we're going to go with the Desert Striker, which is the dune buggy and converts into a strike jet with jeremy mac mac masters and there's jeremy mac mac masters there's his helmet and that's what it does the back shows the conversion and yeah pretty cool 
All right, so here is the vehicle itself, and it's like a little dune buggy, and it really does feel like it rips off the Firefly, so we're going to see that here in just a little bit. But, yeah, it's a nice little dune buggy. It rolls along. It's kind of got a green and blue to it. It's got some stickers. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's stickers and not tampographs because they don't tampograph back in the day. Figure fell out, but so much of this feels a lot like the Firefly. But anyhow, it is a cheaper version because there's no springs in it, and let's do a quick conversion. Conversion? Some... <laughs> comparison to the Firefly and that is how it compares and then as you can see the Firefly pops out like this and then this opens up this guy here pops out like this and then this folds forward and I th is it supposed to reveal a gun in there well darn I thought I had everything well anyway no gun in there but the gun is silvery like this so I thought I had it all well Oh well, time goes on. I, I'm not really too worried about it. Anyhow, that's the difference in Desert Striker and Firefly. Almost the same thing. This one drops a bomb though, and this one's spring. No spring mechanism in this one. Next up, we have the Thunderwing Fighter with Hudson Rourke. I believe Hudson Rourke is the leader of the good guys here. And this is his vehicle. Let's take a look at the figure since I don't have a... Do not have this one in the package sadly enough but there's his face and his mask or helmet and there it goes inside the really bland cockpit i think there's one sticker decal in there something along those lines slide him back in there close this on up and that looks pretty good i don't know what you call this vehicle is it a snowmobile maybe a supersonic kind of tank but it's still pretty cool and uh to convert it you flip this out there's some treads back there, but the treads fold in as the wings fold out, and then you pop up this cannon, and that's about it. That's all she wrote. That's all this is. And so this this is probably, in my opinion, the least coolest of them, which is why I didn't really go after one in the box, but I didn't see one cheap either, so I, I usually only buy my stuff when it's cheap. But here is the gun. Now, this has a projectile in it, and uh, let's figure out how to project it. There's this button on the bottom of the shooter and we are going to shoot it. And it works, it gets the job done. So this, this, yeah, probably the lamest of all of them, which it's funny because I, I, if, it's, if I'm right, it's the leaders and for it to be the lamest, that's pretty lame overall. But it does get the job done, it's kind of a jet. I don't think they knocked anything off from the original mask line with this one and so with that, I mean, they left it to their own creative imagination to make it, and this is what we got. But simple, it's actually quite simple conversion. Kind of fun. Well, fun because it's easy. All right, so next up we have the battle tracker, and that is kind of a four-wheeler. Uh, here is the packaging for it. So that's what it looks like in the packaging. With uh, Comes with a Brad Logan figure and a black face weird helmet that's strange looks like looks almost like the chest armor we're gonna see here in a little bit but it's not chest armor it's face head mask kind of thing anyway it's an atv and it converts into a hovercraft and as you're gonna see it's actually kind of a combination of two different vehicles we'll kind of look at that here in a little bit too now uh it's a cool looking four-wheeler atv feels like something we could have gotten in the gi joe line feels like something we could have gotten in the mask line Four-wheelers were super popular back in the 80s. I will have to say that both these sort of put this one to shame. This is Bionic 6. This is G.I. Joe Tiger Force. Kind of all in the yellow color. Well, let's get back to the nitty-gritty on this guy here. And it is a... You got to kind of adjust. You can adjust these handlebars so his hands can hold them right. And it rolls. It does roll like it should. And But if you adjust the handlebars, the gun comes up. All right, the conversion on this is really simple. You fold this out, you fold this out, and then you can lift the gun up. Actually, this is supposed to slide down and hide that so it slides up and knocks his face mask off. And then his hands, he has to kind of adjust to get his hands on it. And then back here is a gun that pops out. And uh, yeah, there it is. And that's all it does, really. And it's okay. It's kind of cool. It gets the job done. Uh, this one here was one of the harder ones to find for me. But I'm glad I finally picked it up. And it's pretty cool. But who did they copy? 
It's kind of a combination between bullet as a bullet over here is the four wheel, but it didn't really copy that mechanism. It more copied the bullet mechanism. Bullet was a was a motorcycle, but it had the four wheel thing going on right there for the four jets for the propulsion. Still pretty cool. This is the battle tracker. Next, we're going to get into the road heat. This is the cycle that converts into a sky assault jet. This is another one I think they just completely came up with on their own. I didn't see anything else in the Kinder Mask line that they copied. And so this is why it's a little confusing to me, to tell you the truth. But it does have Jason King in it. And there's Jason King figure and his uh, whole front chest plate as opposed. So that's something different with this. They don't have all masks. Some of them have just like chest plates or chest plate that goes onto his face, which is strange. And then he has to ride it like a, like a rocket there. All right, so it does look pretty cool. It does kind of roll. It does have a sidecar with a wheel on the bottom, so it helps aid in stability and rolling. So I kind of like that it does have the stability. Um, you could say maybe Piranha, but Piranha has a whole sidecar that shoots out, so this really didn't copy Piranha. Uh, it's uh, similarities to Piranha, but nah, not enough to say they copied it. Now, what does this do? Um, it, you uh, push... This stuff here pushes down, which that's not even, there's no like trigger to it. This folds down and around. This folds out. And then a comment on my last video, which thank you, by the way, anyone who puts comments that are helpful, uh, this folds in. That is so cool. I feel like this should move a little bit. Maybe it does move a little bit. But uh, yeah, there, that is it. This is what it does. And uh, we'll double check the back of it to make sure that I'm right. There's the back of it, and there is this. So yeah, yeah, that's that's what it does. It's interesting. So if you were to convert this first and then go convert something else and set it down, I, I, I guess that's how you set it down. So th this one never, this one never was my favorite either, but I do like it more than the Thunder Wing. But it's it's cool, it's interesting. It's just interesting how it goes about what they did. This is kind of purely a Hasbro creation. And uh, yeah, this is kind of an idea of what we'd get with some Hasbro mask. This is Road Heat. Next up we have the Off-Roader converts to Wave Chaser Rattler. And this one is a pretty much direct copy of Gator. And Gator is one of my favorites, but we'll see what all this can do coming up. All right, so here it is, and it's just like a nice, fun little uh, Jeep-ish type of vehicle. Rolls along pretty nice. I like the purple. I don't like that it's a one-seater. So that's kind of something that it took away from it. And so it doesn't have as many features, and there's really no... Well, yeah, there is a spring in it. They still kept the spring in it. And there's no rubber tires. And that's something you're going to see across this whole toy line. No rubber tires. I'm just really noticing that. But let's get the Gator in here. Here's Gator, and you can see the similarities. We have a roll bar gun. This has two roll bar guns. This has a win movable windshield. This has a removable windshield. Four wheels, rubber tires, not rubber tires. But when you get into the way it shoots out, uh, the action mechanism, well, and I think it works pretty well. Am I wrong? Yeah, same problem Gator has. The figure gets stuck. Let's try that again. Reset it shoot it so that shoots out this folds down these fold out I really don't know what this rest of this is supposed to be doing without a pilot in it uh, one thing about the gator is it's kind of a shell once it's out but this windshield does fold down and it is clear and it is filled in which is kind of an improvement over this windshield which is just there's nothing in there it's not protecting them it's just decoration and uh, you can fold that over that so you can set this aside here, and then you've got your figure inside here floating around, and it has a movable laser gun and a firing missile. Hold on, supposed to fire. A supposed to fire missile. Well, no, sort of. Sort of gets the job done. Anyway, there it is, and next to Gators. Yeah, they definitely copied the boat. They copied the idea, but that's Rattler, and it is actually pretty cool. Have the Blazin' Fury, which somebody got on clearance at Walmart for ten dollars. Lucky them, and uh, I paid a little more than that for it. This is a sort of new one, sealed. 
Now here's the thing about this. It has this, uh, which I didn't know, but it's got this extra little light bar that goes on top, which for the longest time, I didn't have a light bar, but finally I got a loose light bar. It's got two missiles, helmet, the figure. The figure is called Tate Osborne. So this is Tate Osborne, and he's got his little bitty helmet. And let's get in and take a look at the vehicle. So this is a big, mean-looking monster truck, and I have gotten more parts for it over the years, and it looks kind of fun. A couple of things about this, when I first reviewed it, I didn't realize, but this thing here pops up, which looks like it's a gunner chair in the back that you can stick another figure in, which is kind of cool. And with that, let's just stick a figure in there. Now, it doesn't exactly uh, man any guns, but when it converts, probably there might be a way to utilize that. Anyway, we'll see that when it converts. But that's pretty cool right there. And then we've got... Got a big old bumper right here on the front. We've got the hood. We've got some nice stickers and details. And it's kind of green and it fades to yellow. So kind of cool. Still no... Oh, this one actually has rubber tires. So I guess the only one with rubber tires? Yeah, the only one that I, th I see that we have rubber tires. And we've got the yellow rims. And we've got some exhaust to turn into guns, I think. So let's get into the conversion of this. But I will pull this figure out. And let's readjust all this to capture the conversion process and it uh, prematurely converted uh it's let's do this this is what's supposed to convert it and then it pops up and then you're supposed to flip it around and then it's supposed to shoot out the back and then i guess this opens up and then i guess you can put a figure in there like this then i guess that's how it's supposed to work i mean it doesn't really show anything in there but that that would work for me I'd be okay with that. Let's back it up a bit and look at this. And so this is what it does. This is how we do it. Now it turns into a, a gunner station with a recon jet. And so let's take a look at the recon jet part of this, which is right back here. Here's the recon jet that comes out and then he flies around in this. For the longest time, I didn't even know this was a part of it, but there he is with his recon jet. And it's kind of cool that he can fly around and do all this kind of stuff. Then he can come back in here. And this is... Now, you could put a second figure in there if you wanted to. But it would kind of get in the way with those missiles. The missiles are long. And so the kids don't choke on them or anything. But let's close this back up. Be sure not to knock the lights off of it. And then we are going to shoot missiles. And missile two. And I don't want to lose these because they were not the easiest things to track down in the world but this is actually i think turning into the hardest one to get because it's the biggest one probably it was i think it was still say price the same as the stinger but it was a bit of a challenge we do have some guns right here that all kind of pop out the tail pipes that turn into guns that's pretty much all it does but what does it compare to with mask it's a copy of the wildcat from mask and although they did a lot of things differently it's still very much a Wildcat clone copy ripoff, but hey, it's what they did, it's how they rolled, and this one does have a spring in it, but the spring mechanism actually is really a pain in the butt in this one. It doesn't hold up as well as some of the spring mechanisms in the mask, but there we go with Blazing Fury. Now there was a Series 2 planned, and with that, there's a lot of cool designs in here that they could have gone forward with, and some of the stuff, maybe they, they got a little bit better at what they were doing as they made Series 1 and had some great ideas for the future. Because some of this stuff looks really awesome. And I would love to dive deeper into this in another video, talk about it a little bit more. But don't have enough time in this video. But still, just kind of a quick snapshot of what could have been, what still could be, if Hasbro wanted to. Hope you enjoyed this look at the Hasbro Vortec Undercover Conversion Squad. And this is a cool idea to try to bring ba Mask back. I kind of think this is what Hasbro would do with Mask if they got it. I don't know if they would have all of the really complicated mechanisms in it. Because, of course, that costs more money for production. But it's still kind of fun to have these. You can still pick them up out there online if you're interested in this. And it's really not that expensive of a toy line. But it takes a little while to complete a collection. It took me four years, so... 
that's kind of the problem. But let me know what you think about this. Did you remember this from back in the day? Or does this look like something fun to accompany your mask collection? Also, check out all my other mask videos. And like and subscribe. Tidy your hanger out. This calls for more than a road trip. So, let's go where the crops fly. Heavy luck, Hardfire. Uh, no sign of her Lord Matrix. I'll remind you, Hardfire, she's important to our cause. Bonsai, dude! <laughs>